Greetings everybody and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are safe and sound. Real Madrid travel away from home to play Athletic Bilbao in the final match of the 2021 calendar year and the Los Blancos have a big challenge ahead keeping the circumstances in mind. The Covid storm continues to disrupt the preparation of the team. We have more players getting affected by the virus. It has been confirmed that David Alaba and Isco have tested positive which takes the number to 11 players affected. So certainly the circumstances are not ideal at all. There have been suggestions of postponing the match, but if we take into consideration the league protocols, Real Madrid cannot ask for postponement as they still have 14 first team players, including the goalkeeper, available. So it does seem like the match will go ahead in a matter of hours. Our players have been staying in close quarters, which has indeed propelled the spread of the virus in the team. And in these tough times, all we can do here is extend our best wishes for the safety of our players and their families who are fighting the battle against the COVID 19. But coming to the main agenda in this video, we would be doing the match preview of Athletic Bilbao versus Real Madrid. We'll go through the words of Carlo Ancelotti and last but not the least, we'll end this video by doing the match predictions. So come on, let's get started. And talking about the opposition that we face today, Athletic Bilbao is a team that we are going to face for the second time this month. We previously beat them 1-0 at the Bernabeu courtesy of a strike from Karim Benzema. So Marcelino and co would be looking to make amends for the mistakes they committed early in the month. They're currently ninth on the table with 24 points from 18 La Liga matches. But it's also worthy of noting that this season only Real Madrid and Sevilla have lost fewer matches than Marcelino's side. They've been specialists in drawing games this campaign. They were on an eight-game winless run heading into the game against Betis this Sunday and to the relief of Marcelino, his team was able to overcome the threats that Betis posed. They were able to return to winning ways at the San Mamés. Iñaki Williams scored two goals in a highly entertaining match which ended 3-2 at the end of 90 minutes and certainly that win will provide the entire team with a big boost of confidence. Iñaki Williams as well would be very happy that when the time came, he was able to show some top-class finishing to rescue his team against Betis and let's see if he can continue his goal-scoring run against the depleted Los Blancos as well. And coming to the team news, the home side has also been affected by injuries and COVID. The goalkeeper Unai Simon and Inigo Martinez have tested positive with COVID and Via Libre and Alex Baringa miss out with injuries. But despite these absentees, we still expect Marcelino to set up in his favoured 4-4-2 formation. Danny Garcia and Vencedor should operate centrally in the midfield. We can expect Ika Muniain and Nico Williams to provide width down the flanks and up top Athletic should be led by the duo of Raul Garcia and Iñaki Williams. And now if we talk about Real Madrid, this as you see is the squadless for the game. You can see we are very thin in every department. You can also take Arribas out of the equation. He was withdrawn from the squad earlier and as per the news outlet AS, he has tested positive today. So in the midfield, Real Madrid are literally down to the bare bones. It's not going to be easy without the veterans. Getting a win tonight will require a lot of effort and let's hope the coach and the team can come out of this moment of adversity with the best result possible. Moving on, let's hear what the coach had to say in the pre-match press conference. He was questioned about Real Madrid's inability to break down a low block and about a style of play. But firstly, while previewing the match, the coach said, it'll be a very entertaining and tough game at the San Memes, a place where the fans create an atmosphere that I really like. We have some players missing, but it could be a big opportunity to demonstrate the quality of the whole squad. We're going to prepare for the game well and try to get the win like always. Then the coach was asked what plan he had to beat teams like Cadiz who sit back and play in a much more defensive way. Real Madrid have got good results against teams at the top of the table but against bottom table sides we have had some issues and Angelotti said it's about being effective. One of my first coaches said that when you've got the ball you don't concede goals and you've got more chances of winning but you don't win with position alone. You need to be effective with it. You need quality and the ability to move when the spaces are closed. It's a feature of the team and it doesn't worry me. We had a lot of shots on goal but we lacked a bit of quality but that can happen. A fortnight ago against Athletic we saw that we played much more direct and aggressive football so it's going to be different to the game against Cadiz. And that was very well put by Angelotti. We have been saying that the tempo has to go up to beat teams like Cadiz and Angelotti acknowledges that but we need to see how effectively we can execute those ideas on the pitch. It's about making the most out of position and it would be interesting to see what path Real Madrid take when they come up against the bottom table sides in the months to come. Moving on Angelotti was asked how the midfield was going to cope without the likes of Casemiro and Modric and the coach said if we've got Casemiro and Modric out it's a chance for the players like Kamavinga who haven't played much in recent period. We're considering him for today and for the future like Valverde it could be a big opportunity for these players. I don't know if I'll change the system because we've had a lot of success with it recently and I'm not sure about changing it. It's true that we don't have a winger on the right that would be the only reason to change it and as we don't have a right winger it might be better to use a 
4-4-2, but I'm not sure right now. And lastly, the coach was asked if Eden Hazard would be holding on to his position in the side, and he responded, I have to assist the player's recovery. Yesterday, he was fine. He did a recovery job like any other. Today, he is training, and then we will assess him. It's clear that he's not a winger who plays close to the lines like Vinicius can, but he likes the left flank behind the striker. That is an option that we have to assess if he plays, because what I want is for the player to be comfortable in the position he occupies. So those were the thoughts of significance from the pre-match press conference, and let's conclude this video by doing the match predictions. In goal, we'll continue to have Thibaut Courtois in the centre-back position. We are expecting Nacho Fernandes to fill in for David Alaba in the side. He should be partnering Edem Militar for the game. In the left-back position, we have the safe choice of Fulon Mendy, and on the right, we would be expecting Lucas Vasquez to put up a better performance than what he has done this season. He needs to up his game, and his wing play would be vital as we don't have right-wingers available for this match. In the midfield, it's all up to the youngsters now. We have talented players who intend to be the core of the Real Madrid midfield in this decade, so our young blood will be tested when they take on Athletic, and they will need to do their best under the stewardship of Tony Cruz. And finally, attack, we may see Eden Hazard play behind Vinicius and Karim Benzema, but there's also the possibility of Vinicius playing on the left of the midfield, and Hazard and Benzema playing as the two strikers up front. So that, as you see, is my predicted lineup, and as for the scoreline predictions, I predict Real Madrid 2, Athletic Bilbao 1. It's going to be a difficult game playing at the San Mames, but we have been playing well away from home, and I am hoping that the youngsters will come up with the goods and finish off the year on a positive note. And that is all I have here. Do let me know how you are feeling ahead of the game, and what scoreline are you predicting right in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a la Madrid.